Welcome to this walkthrough video of Publicate, where I'm going to show you how to create this newsletter in under four minutes. So we're in the workspace and it's split into two sections, your content library on the left and the editor on the right. Now there's a couple of ways of getting content into your library, like connecting one of your favorite services, pasting in a link there, uploading a file, but I'm going to use a, the browser extension for this demonstration. So you just click the button, it saves the page, and when you get back to the library, you'll see that all of the content is loading in. Okay, so I'm going to go for a two column layout, and then I'm just going to start dragging content from my library into the two columns. So you'll see that we scrape any images at the URL that you're adding, and also the title and description, which then is all editable if you want, but I'm quite happy with that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add in the other two pieces of content, double column again. And actually I want this one on the right. So I'm just going to drag and drop to put it on the right. And then this last piece of content, I'm gonna add that in. Okay, so I've got my four pieces of content in my newsletter. And now I wanna add an intro section. So I'm gonna click on add a new row and I'm gonna stick with the two column that we've had. Okay, so I wanna add some text to my intro, so I'm gonna click on the text icon, and then here is some text that I wrote earlier. I'm just gonna paste that in, and then I'm gonna add some formatting to it. All right. Now when you highlight text, you'll see that it gives you a number of formatting options, so let's make this text uh, 28 size, going to go with that as a blue and I'm going to make it bold. Okay, now I need to find a nice image next to here. Most of this content is about marketing. So I'm going to go to the image search. I'm going to type in marketing, which will search through a number of royalty free databases. And this one looks pretty good. So let's add that in. Now you can see there's an alignment issue between the image and the text. So if I click on edit the image, I can then actually align that on the fly using the crop. And there we go. And let's maybe just pull that over to the side a bit. Okay, I'm happy with that. So there's my intro section. Now I want to add a header. So I'm just going to go and grab one that I made in Canva earlier. Just drag and drop that from the files. And it will give me a couple of editing options on the left, but I'm happy with how it looks. I just want to hyperlink it to our main website for anybody who clicks on it. So now I'm going to put in some, um, some section headers in between this to break the content up because these two pieces are about social media. So I'm going to click on new row, click on add a title, and I'm going to call this section social media. And I want to style that. So let's make this background the same blue that I've been using. Previously, let's make it 28 pixels. The text can be white, and actually, I want the text left aligned. There we go. And then this section is about content marketing, so we'll put in another title. I'm going to call it content marketing, and you will see the previous header style that we used has been saved. So all I need to do is click apply, and there we go. Okay, I'm just going to check that in the preview and it all looks all right for email and it all looks good on mobile so i'm happy with that to email it out all i need to do is click on publish and you'll see that we've integrated with a number of services that you can send through directly or if you want to send this out through mac mail as i do or outlook then all you need to do is click on copy email to clipboard and then go to mac mail just like this. So I'm in Mac Mail, right click and paste. And there we go. There's the newsletter ready to go out.